finished my day on the campaign trail today. Today was another busy and exciting day. I started off the day bright and early. I went out and met with a particular gentleman who wanted to talk about the proposed River Street Bridge option to get a second high level crossing across the Macquarie River here in Dubbo. And he wanted to show me both sides of the river, show me his impression of what would happen there and, and really, as he called it, it was a bridge to nowhere. And I'll just give you a little bit of history in terms of where I sit with the bridge options. If we go back about eight years ago, Davo City Council had a proposed road network to the year 2045. And the idea was this was a long-term plan to show how the, the city should look around our major road network and also in particular around a number of river crossings. And so that was the plan that, that we put forward as council back when I was on council. That was a plan we put forward to say, this is the network. If we go forward then to 2015, before the 2015 election, the state government election, one of the options that we talked about in our road network plan was a duplication of the current LH Ford Bridge. So the LH Ford Bridge at the moment has one lane of traffic in each direction. So the idea was to duplicate that so you'd end up with two lanes in each direction. And then the Wallandra Street intersection, the Newell Highway and the Mitchell Highway intersection, the idea was to change that from its current roundabout and change that to traffic lights and get those two lanes of traffic going in each direction and then up and down the highway, the Newell Highway as well. Now, at the time, the Premier and Deputy Premier before the 2015 state government election stood underneath the bridge with the roads minister and they made a promise. They said, we will duplicate the LH4 bridge. I was standing underneath it, I was standing there with them. We will duplicate the LH4 bridge to solve some of those traffic issues and give you additional flood free crossings. And we will do that in the next term of government. And we all know that we're just about at the end of this term of government and that hasn't happened. What the state government did in the meantime, after the amalgamation, was they came out and they said, we've looked at that option. In fact, it's not a very good option. We'll go down and put a River Street option in. Now, there's been some discussion around a ring road. And I think the real issue here is that the bridge crossing, the River Street bridge crossing, is a bit of this and a bit of that. It's halfway between two solutions. The reality is we've got significant local traffic on our roads at the moment. There are people trying to get across the LH Ford Bridge and it's very congested at those busy times in the morning and some of the busy times in the afternoon. So the local traffic, there's a lot of congestion there. There's also highway traffic that's going through the Newell Highway and, and some of it going down or across the LH Ford Bridge. But only about 5% of that peak time traffic is through traffic and most of that is local traffic. By putting the River Street Bridge option, it seems to me that you're half solving the local traffic and half solving the highway traffic. The reality is, the solution that's needed is to duplicate the LH Ford Bridge, as was promised, or come up with some other method to solve the problem with local traffic, and then build towards a ring road that's a proper ring road that goes right around the outside of Dubbo, rather than the River Street Bridge option seems to be a bit of local traffic solving, not much, a bit of highway traffic solving, a bit more of that, but it's not really solving the two separate issues, the local and the through traffic issues. Two separate issues, in my opinion, they need two separate solutions. I'll work on that a little bit more. I then went out to Gilgandra, and again, I've talked to people before about the fact that I do sometimes go outside the electorate. Now in Gilgandra today, we had the Deputy Prime Minister in Gilgandra to talk about the Inland Rail Project. The Inland Rail Project does go through this electorate, and the Inland Rail Project is certainly upsetting a lot of people in this electorate. I've spoken to a number of people. It is a federal government issue, there's no doubt about that at all, but state government, a good state government member, can still work with the federal government to get the best outcomes for people in this electorate. So I still thought it was important to go outside the electorate and actually talk to people there, listen to people that were from Canamble, from Narromine, from Gilgandra, a whole range of areas, just to see what their feeling was. It was pretty clear to me, there were more than 200 people in the room, they weren't happy with the levels of communication, they weren't happy, happy with the outcomes, they weren't happy with the overall approach. So I spent a, a significant amount of time out there listening to what was said and hopefully the, the federal government will hear some of what was said today, the Deputy Prime Minister could hear all of it and hopefully they'll go forward with a better solution, go back to the drawing board, look at some of those plans, look at the reasons why certain routes were chosen and I think people just want information, that's the, the critical part here, they just haven't been getting information. I then came back into Dubbo and there was a presentation of a Hyundai i30 vehicle 
It was won by Donna Fisher here in Dubbo. So the, the local Sainsbury Automotive, the local Hyundai dealer, asked me to come along and be part of that presentation for the vehicle. And Little Wings has, has certainly been a part of that. The fundraising has been uh, done for Little Wings. Um, and you've also got the Track to Track who raised about $100,000 for Little Wings. And the Hyundai Help for Kids over the last four years has, has put about $7 million back into communities across the nation. So it was great to be there and I was very honoured to be part of it. It was a bit of a thrill actually to see someone win a car. So that's been my day today. Tomorrow, another busy day. We've got Dubbo Day tomorrow. I'm going along as a former mayor to be part of the presentation of Dubbo Day and it'll be great to see some of those people that have contributed to Dubbo as, as part of the Dubbo Day Awards. It's always an exciting day. This has been Matthew Dickerson, your independent voice.